What's up, guys and girls? Mr. P901. I had a little car show doing a little participation in my community here. This church right down the street from my house, so I figured I'd come out. I know a couple of people go here. So any of you in the Memphis area interested in visiting this church, it will be open for Easter service tomorrow. So as you see all the noise going on, having a nice little nice little gathering out here. They got food trucks and all kind of stuff out here. But this is what I came for. <laughs> yeah. They're having a car show. So uh it ain't but a few cars out here. We're gonna walk through them. This old 61 old dynamic 88. Y'all young folks don't know nothing about this. This is a good old, good old iron car from back in the day. Been LS swapped. And we got this 2024 Stingray, Stingray R. The gentleman said he ordered the car 14 months ago. They built it in January and he picked it up in February. So this is a brand new car. It ain't got too many miles on it. All right, and we got this old Mustang right here. Got that tuxedo look. I like that. Y'all know this piece of junk. It's me right here. I'm working on it slowly but surely. My dash that I showed y'all earlier and my gauges. I'm proud of that. I put my gauges in yesterday. I'm gonna go home this evening. I think I'm gonna start putting my, my audio in. Any of y'all that seen some of my previous videos know I got audio equipment ready. Ooh, she look good out here that song. I love this old car, y'all. This is my junk. Everybody be telling me I put an LS mode in it. I like that old carburetor. I like going out there stepping on the gas. It just, man, it's an old school. I'm gonna keep it old. All right, next up is this, uh, this is a 41 Willis, I believe. It's another car y'all don't know nothing about. You got what they call the chop top. Got old 350 small block in there, reliable engine. You can go in any parts store and get parts for it. All right, next up is a 79 Chevy box truck. High noise of 79. It got the square lights. The 73 through 78 got round lights, and this one got the square lights. It's clean. There ain't nothing fancy. It's just, look. Folks be thinking the old school got to be perfect. Man, look. This junk got some little scratches on it here and there. But it still look good. It still look good. This is a 79 model truck. And for this truck to look this good as a 79 model, man, it's all right. So, it's got character. All right, next up, my boy Stevie. I think this is a 85, 85 Monte Carlo. This is an original, all original car. Only thing he did is had the seat real posted. All 
right. Next up, this is one of the last Monte Carlos they made. I don't exactly know what year it is, but uh, I guess people like it. It's got trophies. He don't want trophies with it. So. All right, next up is a 41 Ford. 41 Ford. It's another one of my buddies. I hang out with old cats. They keep you out of trouble. They're full of wisdom. Tell you right from wrong. This about his fourth or fifth old school. He got a couple of cars he's working on as well. But this is one of his recently finished ones. And once again, it's got that old tried and true small block 350 engine in there Chevy you can buy parts for these engines anywhere you'll see a lot of them in a lot of cars so this 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 thing him is clean again it's an old school it ain't perfect got a little scuff mark here and there scratches that don't make the car raggedy he just need to paint it but it run good and it look good. Look at that, that original interior. Just nice and clean. And this thing here, I forgot this guy's name, but he got old El Camino. G body. Believe it or not, this frame, the engine and everything is the same as what's up under my car. They ran that G body platform from 1978 to 1988. So any Grand Prix, Cutlass, Monte Carlo, Regal, any of them cars you see, these are G body. All right, and this thing here is nice. This is 1970. Old Cutlass. Got a beautiful green on it. Nice, solid, clean interior. The camera don't do it no justice. This green is going hard. All right, then this is a, he told me what it was. It's a Buick, it's an old Buick. I forgot what year it was. A one on the car, all original. Paint and everything, this is an all original car. Here we go again, see that paint? That's original. They only original once. I was told that as a as a youngster. They only original once. He can get it painted. He can do what he wants to with it. But they only original once. This an opera car to me. I love this. Remind me of that old show, Untouchable, Elliot Ness. All right. And him, my, my buddy Kevin Carr. Me and him was together last Sunday. We went to Springfield, Missouri to pick up a, a Can Am. He finna try to ride with me. He gonna build him one instead of buying one. I should have been smart and built me one. But he built this car. Interesting thing about this car, it was an automatic. He made it a four speed. He made it a four speed. Once again, see the paint? It ain't perfect. It ain't perfect, but it's an old school. The imperfections give it character to me. All right, this right here. I don't know who truck this is, but it's clean. Old, I think it's a 60 model Ford truck. <laughs> I 
Look at the old school AC over there. The thing, the under the dash, the under the dash vents. The more things get cold too. Don't get it twisted. It's kind of ugly. But that thing get cold if it's set up right. Yeah, my boy Ed. He been had this car for years. I think he said he was out on a trip or vacation or something, and he saw this car and bought it. Had it shipped home. It's clean. Ain't nothing like a drop top. Y'all see that? This man is a popcorn connoisseur. He got his own seasoning, y'all. He got his own seasoning. And yes, I did purchase some. I sold to y'all on my next video. But dude, dude got his own seasoning. This is a Pontiac Tempest. Basically, this was a generic GTO back in the day. It's clean. I love old cars. I love them. All right. Yeah. Like I said, it ain't that many cars out here. We're going to go here to these bikes. Y'all know I'm in the bikes too. My bike three wheel, but it's still a bike. This old Harley. This thing clean. Another one here. All right, young folks, I ain't got to tell y'all what this is. Y'all, y'all know these in your sleep. Oh, morning, Carlo, is it? <laughs> they nice. I ain't going to lie. I like them. It's a G-body. This car here has been meticulously restored. And it looks nice. He still got some stuff to do on it, but it look good. He claimed he built this for his wife, but I ain't never seen his wife drive. Yeah, it's gonna be famous now. What's <laughs> But that GTO, I mean that Le Mans. Oh man. I'm going to get it together little, little, little by little. No, I like to ride, man. I ain't trying to put... I want a little giddy up, but not much. Y'all know, know what that is, don't you? I ain't got to say nothing. It's a T-Bot. 
interior kill it. Last but not least, this gentleman is no longer with us, but his dream will be kept alive. This is a beautiful BMW. There's a little store behind this car. This car was built in Germany and it was purchased in Germany. It was not, it's not an American model. Check out this, uh, oh, they done took it off. This is just a beautiful car. Uh, it's fully customized. I don't know if y'all can see all that flake in the paint, but it is flipping. So this is it. Uh, like I guess I'm slowly getting up. I ain't gonna start asking, like, comment, and subscribe, and all that just yet. I'm just, I'm just getting started. I'm just doing it for the love of it. I ain't trying to get monetized all day. So I'm just out here enjoying this beautiful day. And that's gonna do it. Y'all stay tuned for more footage coming up. Yeah, I'll let y'all later.